Hello everybody, welcome to the vlog. So today we are starting something a little bit different. We're starting a behind the scenes series here on my channel. Something a little bit different, a little bit more relaxed, a little bit less structured. I don't know what this is going to be. I don't know what I'm going to film, I don't know what exactly I'm going to share. But I want to share little bits of my life with you guys and kind of what goes on behind the scenes a little bit. So the way that this vlog is going to work, at least for the time being, it's going to be like a once a month thing and I'm just going to gather all of the like little bits and bobs of all of the things that I've done that month and then I'm going to edit it, put it all together and, um, and release it. So probably a lot of talking, a lot more of kind of face-to-face -face rather than face-to-hands interaction. Maybe little bits of crafting, I don't know, things that I might want to show you but I don't want to film a whole video for it. So I don't know what this is going to be. It's just another way for me to connect with you guys. So I hope that you're here for it. Hello, it is evening time and I've got something to show you. I got a lovely package from Little Birdie Crafts today. It took a while for it to get to me, you know, given the current situation that the world is in. So I am super excited that it's finally here. I've been waiting for a few of these things to be able to finish this little piece here at the back, the piano. So I'm very excited that I'll be able to finally get it finished. And I got some new things here to show you. They sent me a few replacements of the things that I already have but they also sent me some new goodies so I just wanted to show you what I got. I'll just sit in here watching a bit of YouTube while I'm having my evening coffee watching Rafi Was Here Studios. I absolutely love these guys. If you're after some artsy people that are just awesome amazing humans uh, they don't really do like art tutorials or anything but they do talk about like more like the business side of being an artist and stuff and I've learned a lot from them and they are just amazing humans and I just love them so much and they just uploaded a new video um, a few days ago I haven't had the chance to watch it yet but I'm catching up now so so I caught up and now I'm going to show you what I got look at all of these beauties so I have some new things to show you so I think we're going to start from at this end and work our way all the way over there. First of all I have some more amazing beautiful paper flowers. In the last box that they sent me I had some amazing paper flowers and I loved using them and I literally only have like a couple of them left. I keep them in this jar but <laughs> um, I'm sure I'll use them one day. But yeah so I have these amazing beautiful flowers. Just look at them. Gorgeous. Some tiny little ones and these also have glitter on them hopefully you can see it okay then I have two packs of these bigger roses which also have little bits of sparkle on them so we have pinks and purples and then we have these absolutely gorgeous these have got to be my favorite out of all of them I just absolutely love these these are amazing and I want to eat them <laughs> moving on here so they've sent me some more chalk paints so they've sent me the vibrant set and the pastel shades set so now I have like a really good selection of all of the colors and this one also has a black in it which is a really good and then then I also have some silicon glue so it's just a glue with like a precision tip so it's going to be really handy. Then over here we have some pearl drops. So these are just 3D pearls. Um, you guys know I use them a lot. I use contour liners a lot and I often use liquid pearls instead of contour. So I'm excited to try them out. So I have three lovely colors, white, purple and teal. Then they sent me some more metallic waxes. So I have gold, blue and silver and from my last haul I have some green so I have four colors now. Over here we have some more tinted metallic paints. You guys know I already have the gold and the green one and now they've also added this fired brick, um, Caribbean teal and silver charm. So silver, kind of teal 
teal blue and this orangey red another sparkle paste i already have the white one and so now i also have blue this is going to be amazing closer to christmas time they also sent me some more mdf products so they sent me their round coasters their square coasters and another larger plaque then over here i have some metal micro beads and they sent me the whole selection of colors so i have blue gorgeous green purple red black even gold silver and this dark red sorry this one is pink not red <laughs> it's late okay i can't see my colors properly right so i have these metal micro beads and i'm really excited to start using them to add them as like little finishing touches in project and then the most exciting part so they've sent me some more decoupage papers so all of these are currently available on their website these are absolutely gorgeous they are all absolutely beautiful look at this one and then on the other side so just like before there's four sheets and two designs so two sheets of each design and both of the designs that you get in a pack they kind of go together so you can get a lot of use out of them some more butterflies and more butterflies very colorful butterflies which i know a few of you keep requesting that i should do some more colorful designs some more colorful pieces and you know guys one of these days <laughs> and then some roses over here poppies wildflowers and then these ones, these ones I am super excited to try out. So these are, these are their brand new papers. So they have sent me these to test out and tell me, tell them what I think about them. So these are their brand new designs. These are not yet available as I'm recording it. But I will check if these are available at the time that I'm posting this. So these are actually printed on thinner paper. Let me see if I can get one out. So first of all, the designs are absolutely stunning, of course, but also the paper itself is a lot thinner. It feels a bit like rice paper, but it doesn't have like the fibers that rice paper has. I think it might be just like a slightly different type of rice paper that they used here. It is quite translucent, as you can see. So this is, this is the other side. I put it to the light, you can literally see it through and so they are very thin and they are absolutely gorgeous and there's some more teacups of course tea time designs those are always those are always popular and again more teacups absolutely beautiful i love this little teapot <laughs> And on the other side, again, we have, and then this one is just absolutely, I'm such a big fan. I want to use this like right now. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Look at this beautiful boho dream catcher. And then on the other side, we have um, six more of them, but obviously smaller. Yeah, they are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm super excited to test them out. It is Sunday afternoon everybody's napping and it is time for me to tidy up a little bit. I've had quite a few new things arrive over the past few weeks. I need to organize them somehow because let me show you. My desk is a mess. Look at all of these paints everywhere. Everything is going on. Sneaky peek of my masterclass if you haven't seen it yet. If you haven't seen the big announcement, by the time you're watching it, it should be available now. So I'm gonna tidy up a little bit. And as you can see, I'm in my Sunday best. My partner's old hoodie. I've had it for like five years now. And I don't know how long he had it before he gave it to me, but one of my faves. I'm very classy right now. Perfect for tidying up. So you guys are gonna keep me company.
what's new if it's getting distracted I just wanted to show you my pride and joy I don't know if I've shared this one before with you guys but um, this this little ivy was about this big when I saved it last year it used to live in a basket outside and um, even though I'm getting much better with houseplants I still can't really manage to keep any of the plants in baskets outside alive for more than one season so um, after after the summer before it was dying and I noticed that there was only one little bit that was still alive so I chopped it I stuck it in some water and waited for it to grow some roots and now look at it first of all it's moved from outside inside I really love it it's my favorite don't really know what to do about this situation over here so I have loads and loads of paints over here and I have um, daily art and little birdie crafts products all over the place now and different paints different mediums crackles um, pastes glues varnishes all sorts so I'm trying to think of a way to organize them all a little bit better so that they are a little bit more visible and a little bit easier to access and I think I'm gonna have to move the paint down into like these cubbies here, free them up a little bit and then stack the taller tins and varnishes on top there so let's see how that goes. This feels like I'm trying to put out a massive fire with my tiny little bottle of water. I clearly need some more storage space. <laughs> Reorganizing this isn't going to be much help. I really need some I need some more shelves. I need um I need some kind of better I need better storage. And really, I would like my own room. Can somebody please buy me a house with a garage that I can convert into a workshop? That would be lovely. Right, so I've sort of managed to sort out my desk shelf. So let me show you what I've done. So over here I have little birdie paints. Over there I have daily art paints. Some of my old chalky paints of theirs. And bitumen. Over there we have varnishes. The big acrylic paint top that is just too big to go into them cubbies. Some more varnishes over there. Some random chalk paints. Patinating wax and clear wax. This organizer just holds random little bits and bobs. Then over here I have my little cup and jars to put water in and mix paint in. I've kept all of the glues in the same cubby. So all of the glues plus I've added the gelled mediums into there as well. Then over here I have all of my crackle mediums and the little metal micro beads. And over there I have little birdies, metallic tinted paints, sparkle paste, gesso, um, dry and time extender and my liquid leaf so just like random paint and mediums in there so that's the big one that I just sorted 
trust me it won't stay this beautiful for long now we have to ta 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 now i'm going to try and sort out them shelves a little bit move things around a little um shout out dermot kennedy love that guy listen to him all the time if you're after some really good music and you haven't listened to him he's amazing check him out we went to see him live in december back when going to concerts and public places was still a normal thing i'm gonna try and sort them shelves out quickly before it's time for me to go and wake the little little mister up I managed to clean my desk in about 50 minutes altogether, so reorganize it a little bit and give it a good wipe down. We're going to tackle them guys another day. By the way, I got a foot massager for my birthday. Is that not the best present ever? Now you know, this is what I do every evening. I sit down at my desk and at some point during that evening, I take 15 minutes, I stick my feet in that thing and they are my favorite 15 minutes of the day. <laughs> So yeah, the more you know. So uh, there it is, just a quick little walkthrough. By the way, what do you guys think to my little filming prop, just to stick in a corner so that it's not all super white and boring? Um, I don't know, I like it personally, let me know what you think. I took a few things out of there and put them over here onto my cubby, which I moved out a little bit again. The position of these shelves is like very unfortunate. During the cold months of the year, um, this radiator is on and so obviously I can't keep paint and things directly above it because they're just going to dry out so I'm having to like move them out of the way but now that the summer is here we don't have heating on so it's um, so it can come back out. I hope that you guys had fun cleaning with me. Maybe we'll tackle the drawers at some point, maybe we won't. I guess we'll just wait and see. Guys, it's website launch day. We have made it to this day. I can't believe it. It is happening today. It's Monday, 22nd of June. I set this deadline for myself like four weeks ago and we're finally here. I can't believe that I've made it. <laughs> I can't believe it's actually finally happening. I am so nervous. I've been nervous all day today. So everything's set to go live. All of the announcement videos and everything is set to go live at 3 o'clock today. It's currently... Um, it's currently 12.30, so I still have two and a half hours to go till launch, but I... Oh my god. I can feel it in my stomach. I feel like I did before my first craft fair. And of course, you're watching this in the future. Apart from the website, there's also the School of Decor and Decoupage that is being announced today and my first masterclass and I am just so nervous for that as well. I don't even know what to expect, I don't know how people are going to react to it, I don't know if anybody's going to actually go and buy the masterclass, I am fully expecting it to be just tumbleweed. <laughs> I don't know. At this point, I just want to let it go and just not think about what is and isn't going to happen. Just let it go and see what happens. All I know that is I worked really hard for it. The amount of late nights and super early mornings that I had to get to this stage. Obviously, I'm not expecting everybody to just like flock to my website and start buying the masterclasses or whatever, but... Um, 
you have to start somewhere and I just really hope that it does actually go somewhere and in the future I can expand it and I have all of these big dreams for the school you know hopefully maybe in the future I could collaborate with other artists and teachers and, and have like exclusive material to offer from other amazing creators that would be awesome um, and expand the shop to be a little bit more curated towards um, crafters as well and not just sell stuff that I make uh, but also sell craft supplies uh, that would be amazing but nothing makes me happier than just going through different craft supplies looking at all of the paints looking at all of the embellishments and stuff so if I could do this for a living that would be a dream come true so I just wanted to film this little segment to document what it's like on the other side ah oh, yeah I'm just so nervous I feel like I need a drink <laughs> an alcoholic beverage <laughs> to calm my nerves down but obviously it's 12 o'clock so that's gonna have to wait until evening time in other news I am just super tired um, today is the first day um, in a week that Toby um, is actually having a nap so this now feels weird sitting here all by myself now last week was pretty exhausting because he just wouldn't nap at all so we'll see how this one goes other than that I made it to the shop for the first time since before lockdown started me and Toby took a walk to like our local um, little shopping area and went into one shop I was gonna buy some watercolor paper but they don't have any so I ended up buying him a toy instead <laughs> And that was a very strange experience, just being in a shop, everything just feels so surreal, all of the markings on the floor, everybody trying to stay apart from each other, just didn't feel real. I don't know if it's because we went Monday morning or if it's just because um, of the virus, but, but people genuinely seem to be actually like still doing the whole social distancing thing. There wasn't that many people on the streets and those that were on the streets or in the shop are actually making the effort for the most part to like stay away from other people not touch anything so that was nice to see we made it to that part of the town which we haven't visited since like mid-march so that was nice i have some things that i could show you actually i know i posted them on my instagram story when i first got them but i never show them off in the video i got some wooden blanks from Home Deco Art on Etsy. Uh, they also have a website and I will put their website in the description below for you because the website is actually cheaper than Etsy which makes sense because Etsy has a lot of like fees on top so um, it makes sense why they would sell it, um, why they would have it a bit more expensive on Etsy but yeah check out their website. I mean I am really really impressed with the quality of these decoupage planks so this is a tissue holder and it opens up like that from the bottom I'm pretty sure they are all solid wood they smell really nice um, and there's another tissue holder also opens up like this by the way they didn't send it to me I bought it for my own money so so I have zero agenda for you to buy anything from them or you know or whatever and then this box, this box is absolutely amazing. I am in love with it and I can't wait to actually um, show it to you guys. And it opens up like this. There is a mirror here and you can actually see yourself. Look at you. You're sitting on top of another decoupage blank on top of my tin. <laughs> so it opens up like this and there's inside there's like um, three compartments for you to put stuff inside. So it's actually really, really beautiful. And then there's another box, which is just a wooden box uh, shaped like a book. So that's going to be very interesting to make as well. I'm really happy with the way that they are made. Um, they seem pretty good quality. I was the most worried about um, how good of a quality this is going to be. But it's actually really, really good. And it's absolutely stunning, isn't it? So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys uh, that thing and then let me replace you <laughs> and then let me show you this one. And here's another thing that I recently got. This was actually made by 
um, my friend's dad, he, um, he's a woodworker and he has his own Facebook page. He makes like these custom light up boxes. Um, I will also link um, his shop below. He only made it for me as like a trial piece and for now he said he'll only make things for me for, my, for me to order um, but I don't know, maybe in future he will be able to make something like this but available commercially. It's just that he doesn't have like the proper setup um, and stuff to make things like that. So making something like this is actually quite expensive. So this cost me, so this cost me fifteen pounds because obviously the materials plus an hour and a half of work for him to make it. Hopefully, I'm hoping that maybe in the future he will be able to make things like that a little bit cheaper because then I'll be able to actually have more custom made pieces. So yeah, I'm just very excited to start working on them and show them to you guys when they're ready. And that is it. I will see you on the other side of the website launch. I think I'm now gonna go and write up a Facebook post and schedule it for when everything else goes live. And I will see you on the other side. Well, we've reached the end of the month. Um, it's the 29th of June today. I'm about to finish editing the vlog. Just wanted to jump in and say I'm sorry how shaky my camera was. Um, turns out that when I showed you all of the little birdie crafts products, um, my camera is just all over the place. So I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna try and fix that next time I decide to film something like that. So there you go, I'm already learning something new here. Other than that, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who supported me through the launch of my website and my school of decoupage. I'm very grateful for each and every one of you who has that has bought one of the masterclasses or bought something from the shop. From the bottom of my heart, huge thank you. Not only are you supporting me in my creative journey, but you're also supporting a small business. You're also helping me stay afloat and pay the bills and keep creating what I do. And I really hope that I'm able to pay you guys back for all of the support that you do with all of the things that I put out there. I really hope that what I put out there is valuable to you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to say a huge thank you. This month was really huge for me. Probably one of the more tiring months since uh, my son was first born. And I am very excited for everything else that is gonna happen. And I'm very excited to share more things with you guys through YouTube, blogs, and of course my School of Decor and Decoupage through masterclasses. Huge thank you for watching, it really means the world to me. I also wanted to apologize for not being very active in the YouTube comments over the past month. Apart from the YouTube comments, I also get a lot of messages on both Instagram and Facebook, and I've been trying to keep up with Instagram and Facebook, but with everything else, I just can't keep up with YouTube comments. I'm gonna try and be better with them next month. But still, as always, I read every single one of them. And largely, they are what keeps me going. The feedback that I hear from you guys, the fact that so many of you actually take the time to write a comment or like a video or share a video, it really, it makes it all worth it. So. Thank you so much for being here for me and I will see you guys in July.